Welcome back to another video. We're going to dive into quarter one. So we are in, so March has just finished. We are through the first quarter of the year. So I'm going to dive into my portfolio, see how my stocks are performing compared to where I was this time last year, how much I've earned from dividends. So through the month of March, this is a big month for dividends. So we're going to dive into that see where I am with dividends, what I've earned so far this year using my spreadsheet. And then we're also going to dive into what stocks I've also bought uh, this month. So let's jump into the video. So we're jumping into my trading 212 app. As you can see here, we are currently on the month uh, chart and you can see I've had a good little Gain from here. So if we look at the start of the the uh, the month, once that decides to show, well, it's not. But as you see there, let's just say there you go. Friday the first of March, I was sat at three percent. So my portfolio was up three percent, four hundred and eighty-eight pounds. If we fast forward to now. Currently up 6.73%, that is £1,130. So pretty much my portfolio is up 3% already this month. As you can see there, invested £16,794. Portfolio currently sits at £17,924. So on a good little... a Good little street at the moment. Um, the end of this year, I want to be close to 30,000 if I can. So I'm piling as much as I can into uh, this to try and get that as close to 30,000. And um, that's pretty much 30,000 in two years. So averaging 15 grand a year um, is good going. So let's dive into my stocks and see where they're doing well and where they're performing. So at the top we have Abby. Uh, one share of that currently up 16%, um, just over 20 pounds. So I'm slowly just averaging, uh, dollar cost averaging into this. If I have the odd three pounds or whatever, I just chuck it into here because it also pays out a good dividend also, and it is a solid company. Uh, AMD is a new one I invested at the start of the year. As you can see, I put just under a hundred pounds, maybe I put a hundred pounds into that, and then obviously, train two and two took some, um, some fees from that, but, Currently up 20% on that, also doing well. Amazon is a new one I've just bought into. That is currently up 2.5%. Uh, Avira, 221 shares, and that is up 19%. So 181 pounds uh, currently up in that. I want to get that to 300 shares. That is my goal for... This year, Bank of America, six shares, currently up 26%. Coca-Cola, 12 shares, that's up just over 2.5%. Uh, that's another one, that's a growth stock and a long-term stock for me. I'm just slowly trickling money into Coca-Cola. Um, QYLP, this is a spin-off of QYLD. This is a UK version, so it's tax-free. Currently got 121 shares of this. That is up uh, just shy of 2%. That was doing really well uh, a couple of days ago. I think I was up 3% on that. Um, but currently with that, that pays me dividends every month. And each month it buys me one share. So I'm getting a share every month for free. Uh, towards the end of the year, it'll probably work out to be close to 
uh, two shares free. So I'm not really putting much money into this now. I'm just letting the dividends grow. And because the dividends is buying it one free share every month, that's perfect. Each one, each share, I get paid a little bit more each month and it's just going to keep growing, growing, growing. Green Coat is my, probably one, one of my only ones that's currently down. 130 shares of that and that is down 5%. EQQQ, this is an ETF um, which has done pretty well and it just sits quietly in the background, currently up 5%. This is something else I want to start bolstering and putting more money into. Legal in general, just like Avira, it's at 300 shares now, up 4%, uh, just over 4.5%. This also pays me a good dividend, which paid me this month, I think. Main Street Capital, 8 shares. So Main Street Capital is something I'm dollar cost averaging into. Each week I put basically seven pounds into this, so it's one pound a day. So I'm investing one pound a day into Main Street Capital for a year, just to see how it goes um, over that time. And it's currently up to 12 percent, so it's doing pretty well. Microsoft, pretty much the same as Coca-Cola for me. It's a long-term growth stock, free shares, and that's currently up 36 percent. So that's also doing quite well. Uh, Pepsi's a new one, just invested into Pepsi this week. Um, I think that's a strong company, it runs a lot of companies, it's got a lot of products under it, uh, a bit like Coca-Cola, again I think it's a strong company, so that's why I bought into that. As you can see, just £20, nothing much. And that's currently up 1%. Reality Income, this is my biggest loser, 102 shares. My goal going into this year was to get this to 100 shares. It's now sat at 102 shares. That's pretty much two free shares from dividends. It pays me about £20 a month in dividends now. So uh, that pretty much buys a share every two months. Uh, the FTSE All World High Dividend Yield, 106 shares, that's currently up 10%. This is doing pretty well. I'm happy with this, over 500% profit, 500 pounds profit. And also the S&P 500, 20 shares, that is up 13%, 188 pounds, currently up in the green. So... All my portfolio is pretty much in the green, apart from Realty Income and Green Coat. So, not too shabby to be fair. A lot of these are in pies as well. So, uh, pretty much I've got Drip turned on, Auto Invest is turned on. They're in individual pies going forward. <clears throat> um, so, that's how my pie is looking. Let's jump into my dividends and see how... I've been paid through the month of March. So you can see here, 14th of March was my first dividend from Microsoft, and that was £1.54. That got reinvested straight back into Microsoft. The next day, the 15th, I've got my monthly paying dividends. So Realty Income paid me £17.13. Again, that got auto reinvested. QILP, that paid me £15.54. That also got auto reinvested. So QILP, one share is about £12. So at the moment, I'm getting one free share and a bit. And in Main Street Capital, they paid me £1.20. And again, that got auto invested straight away. 21st of March, I got EQQQ. That paid me nine pence, not too much, not much at all. But again, that will just get invested straight back into it. Um, Vanguard, so the S&P 500 paid me four pounds 84. Again, that went straight back into the S&P 500. Also the same with the FTSE All World High Dividend Yield, 29 pounds and 66 pence. 
So that's a beauty of a dividend. Again, that went straight back into that. And each share of that is about 50 pounds. So I just got, probably got half a share for that dividend. And then also, uh, Main Street paid a special dividend this month. So as you see here, I've got another dividend from Main Street of £1.59. That is a special. So every now and again, they do pay a special dividend. Um, and that what that's pretty much what that is. And today, uh, I pretty much earned... Uh, Bank of America paid me 97 uh, pence. That will get auto reinvested once the stock market opens again on April, on April, on Monday after bank holiday weekend. Um, interest, let's just chuck it interest. So I've currently got a thousand pound sat in my free cash, currently earning me 5.2%. That's roughly about 14 pence a day. As you scroll down, this is a brand new feature on train two and two, which I really like. And it just shows you where your money is. So it's in the bank, mine is, which I'm happy with because that's currently safe. QMMF, if your money's in there, I don't think it's as safe as it is in a bank. In a bank, I think it's safe up to 85 grand. So I do like this feature to see where your free cash is held. Uh, if we go to payments, you can see there is all my payments. So every day I'm earning 14 pence interest on my free cash. That interest gets added to my free cash and it just keeps going. So I'm, I quite like this at the moment. Uh, it just looks good going forward. If we do jump over to train 2 and 2 invest... We have this new credit card feature, which is quite new to the uh, to the app. And as you can see there, I'm currently on the waiting list. Again, same as the interest, you're gonna earn 5.2% on every pound. This will be a, da a good daily spender. As you can see there, 0.5% on your cash back when you spend. So the more you use your card, you'll get cash back on your spendings. No monthly fees, uh, as you see there, and it's also currently in 13 major currencies. So, so far doing pretty good with that. So now we're gonna jump over to my spreadsheet and see how my dividends and everything's looking at the end of Q1. So as you can see here, we are now diving into my portfolio. So we're currently on the front page you can see here my monthly dividend income so you slowly on that climb up uh let's get that out of the way of the camera and you see here my annual daily uh, dividend income so almost we're only in march already and we're pretty much catching up to the last year already so i'm pretty happy with that jump across to positions this is where uh, all my positions are come in here add all my number of shares so every time i buy shares this is exactly where they come uh, and then my dividend log so this is where i track all my dividends and how much i've earned so far so you can see there at the top is 2023, all the dividends I've earned. You can see main on how that's just kept growing. Reality income, how that's just kept growing, where I've gone from 4, 5, 9, 9, 9, 10, 10, 13, 17, so it just keeps growing. Exactly the same with main, uh, which I love to see. So if we just highlight match, and scroll across to the end, you can see there in March, I earned, uh, I've missed out some dividends here. So let's jump in and add these quickly. So we had, they pay me one pence, footsie, 
All World paid me twenty nine sixty six. The S and P five hundred four point eight four. Um, EQQ, yeah, I got that. Sweet, so I'm up to date now. Whew. As I said, that looked quite low for a March payment. So as you see here in the total, uh, I earned a total of £72.57. pence. So obviously all this is in dollars, but I just say pounds because that's where I am. If we compare that to March last year, so this time last year, I earned 91 pence. So March was my second month of earning dividends last year. Uh, I started investing the 1st of January. February, I earned 40 pence. This Feb, I earned $35 or pounds. So massive difference. I can't wait to see what the end of the year is going to look like. As you can see there, uh, already the end of 2024, I was at 269. I'm currently sat at £132. So almost pretty much halfway already. I'm only three months in. So it's going to be a good year. Can't wait to see what that brings. Uh, jump over to here. So yeah, as you see here, this is my monthly data and my yearly data. You can see here, Jan portfolio is sat at £15,661. Uh, I added £2,381 into my portfolio that month. So a really good month. Uh, into Feb, portfolio went up pretty much over a thousand pound. So it sat at 16,663 pounds. Uh, that month I only added 916 pounds into the portfolio. Then this month, now my portfolio is currently sat at 17,921 pounds. And I've invested 1,500 and three pounds so I'm trying to average about a thousand pound a month investing if I can that means at the end of the year I will have 12,000 pound invested like I said my goal is to get 15,000 in each year if possible um, just depends but that is the goal a thousand pound minimum as you can see there Jan was a good one and also March, so I'm currently above my target uh, going forward into uh, quarter two. So now we're going to dive into what stocks I've bought so far this month. Yeah, my bad, I haven't done the maths for this, uh, so I'm just going to read out what I bought and show you also on the screen. Back into the trading 212 app. We'll scroll down to the start of March, as you can see here. So each week I invest £40 into my portfolio. So this is where you can see roughly where it goes. So Main Street is my £7 a week. So that is the uh, £1 a day challenge. Pretty much then the extra £3 to it, uh, round that up to £10. I alternate different businesses. So here I invested it into uh, AMD. Sometimes I'll go Coca Cola, Amazon, uh, Abvi. Just depends on how the stock market is going from there. Amazon, this is where I started investing into Amazon this month. So £10 into Amazon and then £10 into the SP 500 and the FTSE All World High Dividend Yield. So I'm trying to bulk of these up now going into this week uh pretty much the week after then the other 40 pounds i invested 
10 pounds went into reality income. Main Street had these seven pounds again every week. Amazon bought another 10 pounds of Amazon. Avira, 10 pounds, that got me two shares. As you can see, my goal is to try and get that to 300 shares by the end of the year. And then also Avira, I done three pounds, which rounded up the Main Street tenor, basically. Uh, the 12th, reality income, 43 pounds. And then Avira, 40 pounds. So this was probably, I had extra money in my account, so I transferred it to here. So if I have money left over in my bank account, um, I transfer that into here and invest it. So that's what that 83 pounds was. Microsoft, obviously that was a, uh, a reinvest, so my dividends paid in and I reinvested. The 15th, all this was reinvested, so reality income was my dividends reinvested. QILP, dividends reinvested, and as you can see there, it got me 1.18 shares, so not too bad. And again, Main Street was dividends reinvested. 18th, this is my weekly £40, £20 into the S&P 500. This time I'm £3 into the QILP. Seven pounds into Main Street and then ten pounds into Reality Income. Uh, I guess in the twentieth I had a spare one pound in my account, so I chucked that into Reality Income. Why not? Monthly paying dividend. Twenty uh, fifth of March. So this was my yeah. So this was my YouTube income plus my forty pounds a week uh, income or my investment so YouTube paid me was like 220 pounds so that got straight into here as you can see there the 200 pounds went straight into the FTSE all world high dividend which got me free shares investing in the Pepsi uh, 20 pounds 10 pounds back into Amazon five pounds into AMD three pounds into the QILP again seven pounds into Main Street and then ten pounds into reality income and then twenty seven these was dividends reinvested so FTSE all with hard dividend uh, paid me a dividend of twenty nine pounds sixty six pence that got reinvested and then same with Main Street the special dividend got reinvested straight back into it so that's my buys for the month of March. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button if you haven't already and I'll see you in next month's uh, portfolio update.